The heated <clears throat> response on the mobile marketer site as well as on Twitter to a recent story about um, responsive or adaptive delivery I think really points to the um, ongoing um, issues and um, concerns and discussion there is about the, um, the idea of how to deliver content across um, multiple devices, how to deliver web content. Um, and in some cases there's you know, still a lot of confusion around these issues. Um, there, there's a lot of different terms being thrown out there. There's responsive design, um, adaptive delivery, responsive delivery, um, and you know I think that um, the the story was based on a report from Forrester um, that really took a look at uh, how some of these projects that are focused on um, responsive web design um, <clears throat> how they are proceeding in at the enterprise level. So this is very focused on enterprise here. Um, and you know the, the findings are that there are some a lot of questions and concerns around the um, you know around responsive web design and its um, long-term um, significance for um, enterprise as a solution to mobility. Um, one thing that's being positioned as a as a response to um, to that or as a solution to some of those questions is adaptive or responsive um, delivery. Um, you know, there's some, there could be some concerns there for some companies as it does require, you know, creating a lot of um, content um, specifically for mobile. Um, but I think overall what this points to is just that there is, um, you know, that there's that this is a big problem. Everybody realizes it. They w are looking for solutions, um, and the the discussion around you know what those solutions are going to be is you know right now very vibrant, which is a good thing, um, and you know that the answers are still forthcoming.